Yeah, this review is going to be for uh, Ringtone Editor, which, uh, imagine, of all things, yeah, it's a ringtone editor. Oh, my gosh. For real? Like real mm-hmm. ringtones? Yeah. I think uh, it used to be called Ringdroid before. You haven't set your uh, camera to... Uh, to uh, the time, the time was an hour off. This one's yours. Oh, mine! Great. <laughs> that one's mine out there. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I'm oh, but yeah, it used to be called Ring Droid, and I know I've used it uh, quite a bit underneath the old name, uh, but I'm not sure that much has changed now. It's called uh, Ringtone Editor, and it is a free app. You can use it to make ringtones from just about any audio file. Uh, it has a, a pretty easy interface. As soon as you launch it, you can search through. Because uh, I haven't synced up any MP3s to my phone. I just wiped it recently and wiped the SD card, too, to be safe. Um, but it'll list out all of your MP3 files. So the search feature is really nice. Because uh, otherwise, you're going to be scrolling for a while. Um, but I'm going to make a ringtone here real quick just to to show you how easy it is. Ooh. So it pops up this nice uh, waveform chart. Oh, that's cool. And, in fact... it. I think it looks and acts a lot better if we turn it on the side. Whoa, that's even... It's not rotating. Uh, shake it a little bit. Shake it. Sometimes you do have to shake it. There, we there go. you go. A little shake. So uh, Sounds like your center of gravity is a little off there. Yeah, well, it's tilted clear back, too, for the camera. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's that's kind of a nice scrolling motion. That looks like the audio editing program we use for the show. Nice. The heck is that? It's the ending of a song off the Fuji's album. Is that a different song than you had loaded up? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it works the same. I was going to have an awesome Moon and Nights thing on here, too. But I don't know what the heck's going on. Let me go back and see if uh, if maybe the... The turning it sideways gave some sort of a weird... Or maybe error. you touched something. Maybe you touched it wrong. It looks the same. Yeah. All right, so say you want to make a ringtone <laughs> that just says, we're with the Fugees, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <that's all> <laughs> you just you, you can see I'm grabbing uh, the end mark right here. That's nice. And then there's a beginning mark right there. And you just drag it with your finger and make whatever you want the ringtone to be. And it's got a little... It's got zoom in and zoom out stuff over here, too. That looks so much like the audio editing program, uh, Adobe Audition, that we use. It's funny. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks, well, pretty much any, like, what, Windows Movie Maker looks like that. Yeah. Uh, the Not the panel screen, but the other one on uh, the iMovie looks like that, right? Yeah. Or you're just in timeline mode. So it even tells you the start and end. You can get an idea of the seconds. Because when you're when you're holding on to the end point, sometimes you don't know if you're moving it forward a couple of pixels or back. So you can keep an eye on the actual number, and that'll give you a good idea. Hit the save button. Right down here, I'm not sure I hit it. There we go. Uh, you can save it as type, you know, ringtone notification. This one's short, so I'm going to go notification. Save. Yeah. And then it gives you the option to make it your default notification or ringtone. So I went ahead and saved it. If I hop on over to my settings, which I'm not sure it registered the uh, home key press. See, I think this is a problem with running it on such low battery too, is that it down clocks it to help save the last, mm-hmm. you know, bit of battery that you do have left. Suck in your juice. Uh, let's see. Oh, it'll be fine through here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that wiggling in the screen there? Are you thirsty? So a notification ringtone. Nice. I should hear. Where's the Fuji's? Right down here. Again, it's called Revenge of the Moon and Nights because that's what was on there. But there it is. Or with the Fuji's what? Set it as your ringtone and go on your merry way. So does that get- work with any MIDI files that you have on your phone? Uh, not video, uh, but yeah, MP3, uh, anything that, pretty much anything your phone will play. I think the unencode, the uh, what the unprotected AAC files works just fine. Uh, wave files, I think in fact it works better on wave files because they're uncompressed. 
So uh, it's a pretty cool app, though. I've used it to make a lot of ringtones. I go on to uh, websites and download like snippets from TV shows or whatever. And instead of buying them through, you know, whatever limited selection your carrier has on their ringtone store, mm-hmm. you just go on to these websites uh, that have like the scripts and all the quotes and everything. I mean, you know, if you're a fan of a show, you've seen them before. Um, download it right to your phone. Use ringtone editor. Uh, cut out just the piece that you want, and you can assign it to uh, be a ringtone or a text tone. So very nice. Yeah, pretty cool.